I saw racism and discrimination when I was only eight years old. I was at a supermarket with my brother and I spoke to him in Arabic. A white American woman turned around, gave me the ugliest look and told me to go back to my country. I was eight years old and for that to happen, I knew right then that I was different, that something was going on. To be hyphen American is to have a set of experiences that people might think are contradictory but aren't. They allow you to be in different rooms, they allow you to speak different languages. Whether you're Indian American or Hispanic American or Asian American or whatever it may be, growing up with a bicultural upbringing in this country is filled with challenges. If I say I'm proud to be an American, I feel like that takes away from me and my family. Because they're specifically Mexican and undocumented and I am documented, I'm a citizen. You know, back then it was painfully awkward because I felt like I had to be a chameleon. I go out in public and I wanted to be just as American as possible. I was almost embarrassed. I think society made me feel that way. Elementary school and even junior high, I was pretty much the only brown-skinned guy there. Trying to understand the conflict of, well, why am I getting teased? I'm an American. I spent one year in Vietnam. I don't even remember. You grow up and you realize what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. as first generations or you know, hyphenated Americans, we want to have the most accurate story for ourselves. We have to take control of that narrative. We're not represented, and that's up to us to, to change. We point the cameras, we sit in front of the cameras. That time has come now. So let's do that, and let's do that together.